A practicing devotee should sing himself to be amongst them the other gopis as an enchanting beautiful young adolescent female as a female associate of Radha and Krishna's girlfriends She is dedicated to the services that are ordered to her and she is decorated with jeweled ornaments. Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, yes, yes. That are given to her by Sri Radha as a remnant. <clears throat> In this verse, Srila Dasa Goswami offers a Sarasa Stava tasty praise. In this verse, Srila Dasa Goswami <coughs> offers a tasty praise. <coughs> to his own guru, Sri Rupa Manjari. To his own guru, Sri Rupa Manjari, in his own Siddha Svarupa. It is called Sarasa Stava <coughs> because here Sri Guru Devi is a Priya Saki. Generally speaking, if Vaishnava want to light any book, at that time we have to light Mangaracharam. Mangaracharam means auspicious prayers. Especially we have to today is Guru Dev and uh, our Ishta Dev. So this Sarasa uh, Stava means a kind of glorification of Guru. So this means this first bus is considered uh, Sarasastava, means kind of glorification of the of Guru Dev. But uh, this glorification is kind of different way of it. <laughs> it's not uh, not like uh, you know I offer I, I offer my respect to obeisance uh, and uh, it's kind of not the good is kind of this kind of good education not this kind of good <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how many people uh, chai? I will bring mm. chai. And water, please. And water. <laughs> you don't you don't have your water, water you have to take. Chai. <laughs> okay. It's and uh, we have biscuit for also for breaking the ekadasi. Yeah, I mean, we have to break. Yeah, yeah that's I mean, the, 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 the,
Thank Guru Dev last time really recommended that everybody should break Ekadashi because if we don't break it in the morning, it's like continuing Ekadashi. It's just what he said last time. So if you didn't break already. <laughs> But uh, I don't know. Breaking, generally speaking, some kind of breaking time. Yeah. yeah, there is a time in the morning until, I don't know, eight or nine. Or Actually, I don't know. Now, very what is it, precise calculation. But uh, generally speaking, from sunrise to after sunrise, maybe, I don't know. Nine or ten. Maybe one move, two move, two, maybe two move, or something. You know, one, you know, after morning, uh, sunshine, get up, maybe, you know, one and a half, half, half hour, and different. But now, calculation is very accurate. Mm. Sometimes, you know, very few, you know, few minutes. Eight. Sometimes it's a two hour, 95. sometimes you know, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> right. You can find an internet. <laughs> I repeat uh, <coughs> what we read or Yeah, in, in this class. Mm -hmm. In this verse <coughs> Srila Dasa Goswami offers a sarasa stava, a tasty paste, praise, sorry, tasty praise, to his own guru, Sri Rupa Manjari, in his own Siddhasvarupa. It is called sarasa stava because here, Shri Guru Devi is a Priya Saki. The first three verses take place within one Leela. When the Swarupa Vesha becomes very intense in the Sadaka Deha, means material body of the devotee, the devotee cannot be happy and not satisfied anymore. So maybe I again, again little comment. <coughs> <coughs> so our Vaishnava culture Anything start, especially writing a book, we have to, usually we have to write Mangala Charami. Not have to, usually they, they will write. Uh, glorification of Guru Dev, glorification of uh, Ishta Deva, or glorification of another Vaishnava. So why is that? Because we want to get mercy. Because the devotee is thinking, I'm not a doer. I'm servant of my Guru Deva. I'm servant of my Ishta Deva. Or maybe servant of servant of servant of my Ishta Deva. Or my Guru Deva. So therefore, we need blessing. My own power, I cannot do anything. So, I need blessing from my Guru Dev as a Vaishnava Avaishka Dev. So, therefore, uh, Vaishnava light this kind of Sarasa, Staba, or, or Mangala Chara. Also, another thing is. <coughs> Especially this uh, Raga Bhakti. By the Bhakti, you know, yesterday we mentioned by the Bhakti and Raga Bhakti. And by the Bhakti, we can practice only in this body. But the Raga Bhakti is case. In this body, we call it the Sadaka Deha, practitioner body. And then, 
we, we, we have to have in meditation, we have a kind of spiritual body. This is called Siddha. Siddha Swarupa. Because if you want to serve Radha and Krishna, who has a spiritual body, then if we have this material body only, it's difficult to serve. So therefore, if you want to serve Radha, Krishna, who has spiritual body, we also we have to have a spiritual body. That is idea. So, <coughs> in this case, Raghunadas is praying sometimes this Sadaka Deha in this, this practitioner, practitioner's body and also sometimes praying or watching uh, Siddha Swarupa. At that time, Siddha Swarupa is made servant of Shirmati Radharam. So therefore, if <coughs> this kind of meditation becomes very strong, then bodily consciousness, nothing or very less. So here mentioned, when the, the Swarupa, Swarupa Besha, means the Swarupa kind of consciousness <coughs> become very strong. In Sadaka Deha, the devotee cannot be happy because always feeling separation. He becomes unhappy. Mm. Happy. Unhappy. Because they are happy in spiritual Siddha Swarupa. Because they can see, they can serve, they can be together. But in this Sadaka Deha, we cannot see directly Radha and Krishna, Radha Mohan. So therefore, we, we feel so much separation. This, this is some ex, small explanation. Because this material body is temporary, and the spiritual body is eternal. Like we have, uh, we are the eternal spirit soul. So real spiritual life is happening on the inside. And what you mentioned by the bhakti, this is like religious activities we can perform, like rituals and everything. But real spiritual life, spirituality happens on the inside. That is the difference between the sadhya, this material body, and uh, Siddha Svaru our eternal spiritual body. Because when we say we are not this body, then the question may come, but what body am I then? Because to have a relation, we need a form. So we have an eternal spiritual form, as we have this temporary material form. We can relate with each other because you have a form and I have a form, material form. And we have also an eternal spiritual form that also in the spirituality we can relate and have a relationship. I can perform our spiritual activity and do our seva. That's because of that. And uh, we say this material world is an illusion. But the illusion is it is not that it is not non-existent, but the illusion is that it is temporary. 
and we are thinking this situation will stay like this forever. That is our illusion. The illusionary world. Also, and the uh, illusion means I am mistakenly thinking I am is. I am this body. Bodies exist. Even tell me about it, they exist. But the illusion, what I'm thinking, is this I am. But actually, this is what I am not. Because I am the spiritual soul. And I am falsely identifying with my material body and everything who is connected with the material body. Like country, family, nationality, everything. <coughs> But because we are eternal, we belong to an eternal world, mm -hmm. where everything is eternal. Um, sorry, this um, statement, what this body is illusion, also, also true, both positions true. I now understand because <coughs> for me, um, <coughs> it's like Shukadev have told. And to see spiritual reality, it's not what we must do some traveling. It's just like change the glasses. I have glasses with yellow color or blue color. I'm just changing glasses, means angle of vision. Our, our reality is I am, with my heart, is Radha Krishna. When I'm separate, it's this illusion. When I think I'm material body and this material body. Yes. And therefore we are not neglecting this body and our situation because within this body we can make spiritual realization. So therefore we have to take much care of the body because the body is the temple of the soul. So that we, that we can stay as long as possible within this body to make as much as possible <coughs> spiritual realizations. <coughs> that we engage our body, mind, senses and intelligence in the service, in our spiritual service to the Supreme. <coughs> To give you some bigger picture of the whole thing. Okay. Continue. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So the devotee cannot be happy and not satisfied anymore. With his experiences, experiences during smarana, dreams and visions, spurana, as he was before, he is constantly burning in the fire of want for the direct attainment of his beloved. Yeah, maybe yesterday, maybe we did. And this is, uh, this is interesting. So Prana Bharabhaji and uh, Radha Charan is uh, like a temporary or illusion. <coughs> like a dreaming or some vision. <coughs> Also, cannot continue long time. Dreaming, I don't know, some hours <coughs> or some minutes. Vision also not stay longer. And also, that may not feel reality so much. So therefore, we need more reality, especially eternal reality. So therefore, someone who is meditated, desire, come directly in front of me. 
that I can see face to face. I can touch you in order to speak. I can hug you. I can serve you. So this kind of reality he wants. It is called this is Shaksha Darsha, direct to direct to When on top of that these visions and other awarenesses also vanish from him, this fire assumes a terrible form and he finds no way to keep himself alive. In that condition, his beloved deity personally comes to console him, or his associates come to console him. In this verse, Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami is in Svarupavesha and sees himself as Sri Radha's maidservant. But whenever he loses hold of his spiritual absorption, he suffers intolerable pain. Rolling on the bank of Radakunda, he then cries out loudly for his Swamini. Srimati Rupa Manjari has accomplished the meeting of Radhika and Shyamasundara. in a solitary cave of Govardhana Hill. And she secretly looks through a hole in that cave. <coughs> to, wit <coughs> to witness their sweet love pastimes. Radha and Shyama are both intoxicated by each other's presence. How expertly are they playing their pastimes? At the end of these pastimes, pastimes, Shyama Sundara bites Srimati's lips, leaving a mark there. The relationship between Radhika and Rupa Manjari <coughs> is so pure that all the signs of Krishna's love marking, no, sorry, all the signs of Krishna's love making <laughs> on Sri Radhika's body, <coughs> such as his bite marks on her lips, become manifest on Sri Rupa Manjari's body also. So this is really amazing. 
Sometimes so we see the movies. <coughs> And uh, sometimes we think I'm also a hero. Then heroine, heroine separate <coughs> from hero. Then we feel same pain in the heart. Mm. And if we observe in the heroine as much as possible, then more pain is intense. So similarly, this this observation is so strong. Then that heroines some pain of heart, not only pain of heart, the the body, some injured or cutting something also appear in this body. That means how they are, they are connected, how their feeling is one. <coughs> So in this material, material world, may be difficult to find, but uh, we understand if we same that person, we our consciousness observes so much that person, then we feel some same pain or same feeling. That is this manjari made servant is feeling. If radicals biting, lips biting, then this manjari is here, rupa manjari. Rupa manjari also same cutting also appear. So this is this represent is oneness of Shurimati Radharani Swamini and her maid servant. How they are one with feeling. Mm. <coughs> I just had desire to add but, uh, Manjari my servant of Shimati Radhika desired this because she needed it for service. Mm. Usually in this world the soul or internal um, internal things of someone uh, for us it's like secret. We can understand something by external symptoms. By emotions, for example, by gestures, by words, we can understand something, but to really have connection is very, very difficult and rare. But to serve means, no, not, not to serve, to fulfill desires, hard desires, we need so much be inside of this person. And this, this, this maid servant has this desire, intense desire because of so much attraction, so much love. It for for her it's like uh, how to say need with that kind of need which is part of how to say it's about existence her existence he could not exist without this capacity for her it's so much necessity necessary <coughs> otherwise how she can follow her uh, mistress how she can fulfill her all her desires, how she can be made servant. Made servant is not just giving order and following. It's mm -hmm. good servant, but not the best. Children mm -hmm. Maharaj once he was in Hawaii, mm -hmm. and one devotee bring to him milk, mm -hmm. and he said, "No, no, I don't want milk." In this moment, he saw from far away his servant Madam Maharaj bringing coconut with pipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mother knows what I want. Yeah, yeah. 
without any words. Then servant completely absorbed in the desires of Master. Then Master started to reveal himself, his internal nature, his desire, his needs to the servant. There was said in this class to love somebody means to know somebody or opposite. To know somebody means to love somebody. And I, I was thinking about it and my feeling is that when I'm in love with somebody, I want to know everything about him. And I'm watching him. What does he like? How is his food today? Does he like to listen or does he like to talk? Does he like coconut or <coughs> And what I what my experience is that it's not enough to, to know about someone. It's always I have to look at what is today his feeling. When I know that I'm in the in the past. Uh, it's not what Udava means, but what I think about. And so to experience mm. the other one every day new. Mm. This is what Manjari is, I think, always. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, like say, for Gurudev, for example. Yeah. Okay, Gurudev, every, you know, say, you know, after get up, okay, he takes coffee and some bread, for example. <coughs> but I say, but Manjari, or, or kind of servant, see Gurudev, oh, today's Gurudev's face is not so, not so, not so, what I say, clean. Maybe he could not sleep, maybe, you know, his kind of digestion problem. And some, some servant very close by, he knows his, his, he could read his face, he could, fe you know, feel his feeling. And then, okay, today maybe no, you know. And then some devotee may ask, but some devotee may not ask, just automatically, okay, today yeah. this is very good yeah. Or maybe this quantity. Yeah. Or this quality, like this. Yeah. So this is if someone is very close, <coughs> but if someone is very far, like say, like for example, tomorrow, uh, no, today, uh, yesterday one, one devotee came from Europe or United States or Japan, but he does not know, or she does not know Guru Dev. And then come to Guru Dev's room. Okay, I want to serve, but uh, <coughs> How to do? they don't know mm -hmm. what to do. Mm -hmm. the, always we have to ask. Mm -hmm. But uh, if always they are, mm -hmm. like such a, you know, such a brother, mm -hmm. and then understand just, just feeling or just seeing face. <laughs> Just a small conversation, understand, oh, today his condition is like this. So this is very represent intimacy. Sure. There is, uh, I think, our nature as human beings, uh, we got these mirror neurons in our brain. And this mirror neurons, uh, we are able when we watch someone in love and interest, mm -hmm. that we feel it. And we can train for this mm -hmm. and practice mm -hmm. in the mirror mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. when we mm -hmm. take mm -hmm. care of mm -hmm. someone, mm -hmm. an elder person, mm -hmm. the parents, mm -hmm. and the old and sick, yeah. or other people, mm -hmm. or children, mm -hmm. and we practice mm -hmm. this mirror mm -hmm. then we can mm -hmm. catch mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. feelings mm -hmm. and the mood of the others. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think it's very helpful that the nature yeah. is given us yeah. uh, this uh, opportunity. Yeah, this is matter of training. Yeah. You know, sometimes, so, sorry, we are distributing book. Every day we are observing, every day observing. Sometimes we ask, oh, you are in this religion, you are Christian, you are Buddhist, you are this sect. We can understand just to touch and feel. Also, we can understand how much money they can give. Because so much absorption. absorption. So, this is, I think, training. Right? 
Yeah. And uh, and also intimacy. Yeah. Intelligence yeah. maybe comes from okay. Okay. Don't know. maybe everything comes from Krishna. <laughs> or Radhika. <laughs> so if if we really sincere kind of debut <laughs> Uh, once I uh, was on one seminar, one week seminar, and in this seminar was one young man present. He was on chair with uh, wheels. Ah, wheelchair. Yeah. I don't know how this disease called with sickness. Mm. He could not move hands nicely, legs, even speak. He could not express. He could not uh, pronounce words in proper way. <coughs> But I found the lady who led this seminar nicely understanding him mm. and asked her how you can understand him. He couldn't even speak nicely. Mm. She thought, oh, if you will love someone, you will understand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is the most uh, typical thing is mother. Yeah, yeah, they always they understand. Bully, <laughs> you know, you understand, yeah. mother can understand, the, you know, what the child or children is. Yeah, right. Yes. Why? This is given Why? by birth with Why? an hormone. <laughs> Why mother understand the child? Because we were connected. Naturally. <laughs> because mother loves it. And we had the navel connection. Also, navel and navel connection. With no condition. Uh, but then it's unconditional. Uh, pure. Uh, pure. Spontaneous. You got the point. I would like to add, um, please, please help me. Uh, also, the mandarins, when, um, when new uh, small mandarins are introduced, so we are all always, then they are always learning from the older mandarins and they take them by the hand and they have to practice and slowly, slowly they learn by observing or, yes, also they have to train themselves to, to be a... <laughs> like, like I feel, like he, you know, here, even this Mundir Mandir or Mandir also small kunja. You know, sometimes we came first time here. We don't know what to do. <laughs> what is erotic time? Where is Guru Dev's room? Where is the deity's room? Where, what time is Prasad time? We don't know anything, you know. <laughs> and then we 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 ask some devotee. Hey, 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 Didi, hey, Prabhuji. So, what time Arctic time? What time Prasad time? And uh, where is Guru Dev to, you know? And then, you know, asking. And then observing. And practicing. Then slowly, slowly, we understand. Then if we come, you know, twice, third time, stay longer, then we could, you know, observe everything. So similarly, kind of practice. Meditation also from the beginning. Maybe we cannot meditate just to, just a little bit. And then this vision becomes not clear. But slowly, slowly more clear. The meditation time also may increase. Or maybe also some feeling also may increase. I think that is kind of in this material, this world of practice also we could do see, we could do say in this kind of spiritual world and you know spiritual practice. Oh, can I make one example? Sure. Come now in my sure. inspiration that you give me. Yeah. When we want to meet a very important, shall we say, a movie star, mm. a queen, a king. <laughs> we are to training. If we are not training, I will be the baby. How can you get in that movie? Or how can you be invited <laughs> tomorrow or today? If I want to go to see Mr. Modi, if you are not 
in that connection of relations, you can have a what? You don't go to the Mr. Modi house or Mr. Modi office just like that. You need the introduction. I don't know if you understand my point. <laughs> Even Gurudev, we don't know in front of Gurudev how to behave, you know, we should obey sense, we should shake hand, we should, you know, hug, we don't know what to do from beginning. You know. We just, uh, we don't know what to say or what to do. Similarly. Mr. You know, or President uh, Modi. Yeah. Oh, I said Modi. Tell me. Hi, hi, So we need somebody who is uh, no. who knows and who takes us by the hand. So yeah. this is ideal. And I remember as I came new here. I was so thankful that somebody took me on like on the hand <laughs> and showed me. Um, so for me, it's natural if devotees come, if they want. If they like that I help, to offer them help, because I can remember how I felt. And so this is... Um, oh, and another consideration. <laughs> if you are not polite, gentle, if you are rude still in your uh, mood of living, how can you go to somebody that is higher, elegant, uh, you know, all this... Uh, quality you have to train it that's the in our case we have to meditate how rather in krishna how rather mohan or our pure gurus act moving related and there is you know the key to go and living in that mood because we are reflection of each other. Mm. Why there are caste? Mm. Sura caste. <coughs> Vaisha caste. Kshatriya uh, caste and Brahmana caste. But we are Vaishnava. Who is a Vaishnava? Somebody who's the king of others. Somebody who's a gentleman. Or a gentleman with ladies. He doesn't see any more forms. He see pure elegance of the soul. <laughs> okay. Or not? Many. Oh, I want to, the confirmation of that gentleman. <laughs> you see? Elegance. Elegance. Yeah. Why? I make you a question. In Asia, People so, have so much more fragrance how they relate with us. I was always impressed from childhood from Japanese. Moving, I saw moving. I saw moving of Chinese. I see moving. No? Elegant. Always in a Soft, soft. Even when they dress, they are so elegant. No, they have servant. Depend on the cast. If you are in the, in the sudra, how can you? If you are, it's not an offense to be a sudra, but you create that mood. It's not God give it to you, because we are our creator. <laughs> oh, our. Can you continue? Because yes, yes. Hmm. Can you continue, Radha Krishna? The... No, I can continue if... <laughs> this, is, this is, you know, this is main subject. But if you could... Uh, one thing is very important, my dear uh, loving friends. Continuous, but we have to realize what yes. we are. And then, if we realize that, or whatever we are talking about, we go on. Yes. But we can go on in expansion, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's our love. Yes, you remember me? Yes. It's the first time I saw you. Yes. I was a little bit, no? You also, no? Now, after <laughs> my relation with you is more deeply. I know what you like, I don't know what you don't like, I know what you think. Now, now, now. You realize this? Yes. Now we yes. come you realize back. this? 
This is the main thing to go on. Yes. So this is it. So we continue with Shri I'm sorry if I have this voice that it maybe is too strong. But because I am as it is. Yes. <laughs> so Sri Rupa Manjari is beside herself of ecstasy. So she's <laughs> so she is not aware of this reflection. <laughs> Then she sings to herself. Aha, my Saki Tulasi Manjari, who is Ragunata Dasa Goswami, has not seen these sweet pastimes. Where is she? Alas, I should bring her here and show this to her. Uh, one, uh, yeah. something. It's an interesting thing. Uh, it's not mentioned here directly. It's just, it's written. Um, how uh, Rupa Manjari is telling, uh, where is my Saki, my girlfriend, Tulsi Manjari? And in brackets, uh, oh, how it's called? Bracket, yeah? No, yes. Yeah. Uh, Ragunadas Gaswami. If someone was lost in childhood, for example, Mm -hmm. He is from a particular family. Mm -hmm. He forget who is he, what is his origin. Mm -hmm. But some relatives found him in difficult situation. This person, this child who was lost, thinking, I am lost child, no, ch no parents, I am alone. I am just a beggar, for example, or even thief. But this relatives looks in different way. Oh, it's our dear. Mm -hmm. Our children from our family. And he starting speaks in this way. And more they will relate, more this feeling coming to his child. He will start to re remember, oh yeah, I, I remember when I was small and these feelings come from the heart. Mm -hmm. His real identity will come in, in, in the heart. In the same way, now I'm thinking I'm body, I'm male or female, someone Russian, American. But then someone who is came from that world, or who has strong connection with this world, with that world, looking at me, he will see my real identity, because it's always present. Mm -hmm. Real means eternal. It's not what we, it will appear at someone, some, in some time in the future. No, it already exists. And that personality can see this. Oh, this is from my village. Means that village, Krishna's village, Radha's village. Oh, this is my relative. What you doing here? Because in, due to this relationship, this feeling started to grow in me. Oh, I remember who am I? <coughs> so, um, alas, I should bring her here and show this to her. So she leaves the window and starts searching for Tulasi. So she leaves the window open, I think. Ah, no, leaves the window. Okay, so she, yeah, I understand. Sorry. Actually, <laughs> she's actually she's this looking. is not like a window, like, yeah. like here. Yeah. Like a hole Just a hole, you know, <laughs> like, a, you know, like a tree there. Yeah. Or like, this is maybe, maybe go down. Yeah. Maybe some hole. Yeah. And then that hole, we could see the Nanda Mohan's love play or, you know, intimate jira. So, and then, you know, sometimes we also, we found, oh, oh my God, this is very nice movie. You know, now we are watching, please, please come, please. But, oh, no. <laughs> okay, I, I try to find out that it's like, you know, come, come, come. Like this. This represents intimate relationship and this Rupa and Torasi. Kind of, they are friends. Also, same time, like a, like a must, you know, kind of, you know, guru and shisha. Mm -hmm. But also same time friend. Mm -hmm. So therefore, this, it seems guru, 
トライトファインドデザインカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカムカそしてリーフのウィンドウにスタートサーチングフォトゥラシー。When トゥラシー meets Rupa Manjari, she notices Krishna's bite mark. Krishna's bite marks on her lips and jokingly ask her. My dear friend Rupa Manjari, you never look at the faces of other men. You are famous in Vraja for your chastity. But despite the fact that your husband is not at home, I see that your lips have been bitten. Has some great parrot maybe done this? <laughs> <laughs> Means Krishna. <laughs> If anyone considers the words shuka, pungavena, to indicate that Sri Rupa Manjari was enjoyed by Sri Krishna, then that would contradict the definition the Acharyas have given of the Manjaris within their books. So this is a very interesting point. <coughs> Because in Sanskrit, uh, we can translate different ways. <laughs> Sometimes, complete san you know, Sanskrit is very interesting. In the situation, complete we can translate opposite way. <laughs> like in this bus, somebody translates <laughs> this some part of Krishna directly by Rupa, Rupa Manjari. <laughs> That translation may be possible also. But this also says, but, but in that case, contradict, contradict the, the definition of Acharya have given to the Manjari within them. Because Manjari does not do, does not do interesting personal relationship with Krishna, <laughs> even dream. And uh, Manjari does not uh, want Krishna to kind of, you know, uh, Krishna to enjoy herself. <laughs> Or avoid to the kind of touching also. So, because they are so faithful, he has mentioned, you are famous in Braja for your chastity. chastity. <laughs> because Manjari is chaste in Shrimati Radharani. Does not look for Krishna. That means this chastity. So therefore, this indicating maybe Sanskrit may translate a different way but uh, if Acharya is giving definition of Manjari then that translation should be like this yes this is mentioned so therefore if we see other book we may find out different translations. <coughs> But uh, this book is so much follow 
In the foot of step of previous Acharya. So this means I'm not doing my independently. This is I'm following the Acharya. Following the foot of step of Acharya. That is a quite important point. One point. This is an example. You can also sit here. When you come people, no? A lady or a gentleman. You have to be, how you receive, you can be, you, you receive it. So she came, nobody has the elegance to say, Madame, please, sit, it's your seat. That's what, <laughs> I know, you thank you all the time, I thank you all the time. So, but you understand the point, so that is what we're talking about, what we're reading about, how to receive, Krishna or Radha or Radha and Krishna, we have to be as an example. Because as I said, we are a mirror. You have it's not me or whatever. I am again because I am is my nature, so we have to train our nature to be more more elegant, receiving coffee, tea. When you go to a huge resort hotel, five, six days stars, will you see the waiter how they treat you? Go in a, in a restaurant, regular restaurant, or a, a five, three stars, you have another type of treatment. So if you want to go in the treatments with the higher, you have to pay more money. Right or wrong? We can learn here in India, yeah. everybody is, every guest is welcome. It's treated like a king or a queen, Brava. every guest. And you have so three days, when you have a, you see a guest, you have three days, <laughs> stay, you are my guest, without paying anything, because I want to give you love, as a god, or as a goddess. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, now we go. Just that everybody, <laughs> so we are reading. Really? <laughs> Happy to this sharing and Gurudev did want to be free to the Lady? Thank you, Gurudev. Five stars hotel. After reading, we will eat after after reading. After the reading, everybody can take. But some sweetness is good also. Rade, Rade, Gurudev, we love you. Thank you. Thank you, Gurudev. It's so so funny to go tell me. We are reading from Sri Sri Vilapaku Samanjali just that you know, and we start with the verse, we continue the verse one. Um, okay. Yeah. So, um, and then comes, um, so it's written in Vrindavana Mahi, Mahi Mamrita 16, 94. The maid service that are exclusively devoted to the service of Sri Radha's lotus feet, that are like an ocean of nectar, do not enjoy with Sri Hari even in their dreams. When Krishna forcibly pulls at their bodices, They cry, they cry out, no, no, <laughs> while Radhika watches and laughs. Srimati laughs here because of the Kinkari's loyalty to her service. The bee enjoys the flowers. Not the buds, means the mandaris. The buds, the mandaris, enhance the bees' thirst for the flowers. Can you repeat this? Yeah, it's so beautiful. Srimati, um, you know. Srimati laughs here because of the kinkari's loyalty to her service. The bee enjoys the flowers, not the bats, the manjaris. The bats... Maybe we have to say that manjari means also bats. Yeah. Yes. 
how big for them. Yes, yeah, yeah, like I said, ah, yeah. uh, some some flower. Yes, yes. And the flower is especially tulasi. And uh, flower and bud. Bud is upper upper area. Flower is kind of down. Flower is like kind of mature. And the body is it's still not in you know, still not fully mature. Like uh, say lady also some age, certain age become very mature. But uh, say like uh, 11, 12, or maybe 30 years, girl is, is not fully mature. So it is called manjari. It's like bad. <coughs> but manjari, if say, like flower is like this, and bad is top side. Flower is downside. If, if wind comes, then flower is like this. Flower is moving little. But manjari bud is, is more, more moving. That is manjari could taste more feeling. Direct relations also very good. Good. But uh, someone who see outside see that relationship, how they do loving pastime, intimate pastime and also helping. <coughs> Lava could taste only opposite beloved. Mm. But the, the third person could see Lava and beloved both. So therefore, the feeling is more increasing. Manjari could taste more and more sometimes. So this is very interesting. So manjari is bad. Some we say saki or gopi. They are like kind of more flower. So, um, the bee enjoys the flowers, not the buds, mandarin. The buds, the mandarins, enhance the bee's thirst for the flowers. They are manjaris in name, manjaris in form, and manjaris in nature. I think this is very important. <laughs> manjari is not only name, also form also like bats, not fully mature. Also, nature also very soft, uh, very sensitive, very caring nature. So this is interesting. Name, form, nature. Also, Manjari represents this one. So if we want to become manjari, we also this kind of nature. Manjari, we should want to become, we are. 
Sure. Здесь не говорится мы ставим. Тут говорится мы. But yes. still, like, we have that frequency. Yes, true. У нас есть that energy. energy. Yeah. But still, not uh, sometimes we no, not. It takes time, but yes. not become. We yes. are on this day, and yes. then we true. do whatever we want. Требует требует обычно время, чтобы подсознать. Thank you. Спасибо. So, yes. sorry. Go, go, go ahead. Shri Rupa is the bud of Shri Radha's form. Rupa Manjari. Shri Rati Manjari is the bud of Shri Mati Lord. Rati. Shri Vilasa Manjari is the bud of Shri Radha's love play, means Vilasa. Shri Krishna accepts Shri Krishna accepts defeat at their Bhava Nishta. It's, uh, the Krishna, uh, Krishna's name Ajit means who is uh, not possible to defeat him. But it's Ananda's Baba is written here. Krishna is accepting his house uh, defeat. What is it? Confidure. That he's defeated. Defeat. Defeat. No, it's confidure. Because, because of they, Baba Nishta What is Baba Nishta in English? Baba Nishta. Baba Nishta is kind of fixing of a feeling. Ah, because they are so... He accepts... Because, you know, because does not do one-pointed. Yeah. Don't go to Krishna, don't go to Radha, not to, not to Sanchari. One-pointed, fixing. Mm-hmm. This is Baba Nishta. May I ask questions? Yes. Yeah. Two. Now, you, you said... Uh, Fixing of feeling. But actually, feeling is always moving. How do I understand fixing of feeling? Fixing meaning is to to ishta, object of kind of service, object of worship. That is fixing. But the feeling always moving. But whom to whom I should worship? To whom? Uh, is most uh, what I say uh, is main our main ishtadeva is who is who is who he who she is who he is this is kind of object fixing Sanchari means loving object is moving or identity may move sometimes. So, generally speaking, object of worship is sometimes moving. Like a Saki sometimes go to Krishna, sometimes I love Krishna, or oh, actually, you know, some, you know, sometimes, oh, today I, I have to take care of Radhika, I love Radhika. But the Manjari case, always Radhika. All, you know, my Ishta, my, my main concern is how to please Radhika. Secondary concern is, okay, Radhika's moha, I also I have to take it. <coughs> not my moha, not my Krishna. Radhika's moha, therefore I, I help Krishna. Because sometimes Krishna is distressed because he could not meet Radhika. So, okay, I want to bring him for Radhika. For radical pleasure. And also Mohan's pleasure also secondary. So this is this is kind of Baba Nishta. If we get to this Baba Nishta, we can take care of every friend, family, oh, Radha's father, Radha's mother, Radha's children, I'm Radha's father. Right. So therefore, another, if, if we say, <coughs> could they sometimes say, Ishta Nishta, Eswarupa Nishta, and Guru Nishta. 
That means the relationship is fixing. То есть это сосредоточенность на своих отношениях. То есть это отношения уже. My guru dev, my guru mandari is made of servant of Radhika. Мой guru dev служит на шинете Радики. So I'm also made of servant of Radhika. And also same time I'm made I'm servant of my guru dev guru mandari. И я также служит на моей guru devi. I want to please my Swami, my Ishtadeva. Fixing. Then we could understand everybody is Radhadasi. So we, we should cooperate to, to please Radhika, our Swami. So therefore we care others also. Because everybody is servant of Shirimati Well, we are, everybody is a baby of Radhika. Like I say, if you have many children, LD, LD, like elder son or daughter, or say, senior, like kind of elder sister, elder brother, take care, younger brother and sister. So similarly, like uh, we also care our brother and sister. In this world also. So this is we are practicing is is That's my So it's um, written in Ujvala Nilamani Saki, 88. One Saki was picking flowers for making a Vana Mala, and Krishna, seeing her, told her, Oh, beautiful girl, <laughs> make your birth a success by joining me for a while in this kunja. Hearing this, that Saki Manjari said, Oh Govinda, I only want to serve while you make love with Sri Radhika. Showing your brilliant amorous skills on the stage of erotic dancing named Sri Radha. So this is showing <laughs> like a Baba Nishta. So Krishna want to enjoy Manjari. But Manjari say, I want to, I want to serve. You make love with Shri Rata. I'm just servant. I'm not your object of love, especially personal, you know. Direct relations. No, I'm not to that position. You go to Radhika. Sorry, I'm struggling a little bit. Trying to understand this very literal and concrete examples and translate them into spiritual meaning. So, I feel sometimes I have a strong yearning for reuniting. And although I understand my position, my soul's position as a servant of what does it mean that Krishna, the ultimate consciousness, wants my soul? And I say, no, thank you. I go to the side and I say, can I have? 
My love. My ultimate love. Radical, my connection, my love. Does this mean I remove myself completely and offer my love? I, I, yeah, I'm sorry, it's a little confusing. Yeah, yeah. So, probably, the question is, uh, so we know theoretically to, to serve Radhika as, as Manjari is our goal. But sometimes some feeling, like kind of uniting, kind of sakis, Feeling or is, 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 is coming, right? So, at first we we have to understand material consciousness and spiritual consciousness. So bodily consciousness, we want to desire bodily bodily relationship, and then. <coughs> Spiritual consciousness means we know, we know soul. We are not the body. But uh, in that consciousness, super soul, Krishna is there. So we are, we are part and parcel of Krishna. So some tendency to, to, to unite. This is natural. Because this is Guru Dev says soul consciousness. So at first we become bodily conscious then to spiritual consciousness. And means the kind of gopi, gopi consciousness. Now every I don't know maybe morning, six AM some devoted chanting Gopi Gita. That's Gopi Gita means Gopi praying Krishna appear in front of me. Because I need you. I want to see you. I want to hug you. I want to dance you. That kind of this kind of thing. So this is kind of soul consciousness. This is... And then, slowly, slowly, we understand and more kind of purifying due to association like Guru Dev, Ashka Then we understand Actually, what we want, we want to be Gopi, we want to be Saki, and we want to be Manjari. The more, more conception or more desires, more clear. Then some fortunate person want to become real Manjari. So therefore, from beginning, honestly speaking, <coughs> for me also, <laughs> I have also desire, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> because, or maybe I'm still bodily conscious, maybe, maybe I cannot say, but uh, <coughs> some devotee go through this gopi bhava. And then more fixing, they, because, because this is still Sanchari. So therefore Guru Dev says, Sanchari is not good. <coughs> fix it. Which Baba you want to fix it? If we want to go P Baba, it's okay. If we want to fix Saki Baba, it's okay. But the Mahababa give us most precious gift, most tasteful feeling is Baba Uras. It's magic. So therefore, you know, from beginning or after some time also or many times we are Sanchari. Sometimes, oh, I like Saki, or oh, maybe Saki nice, or oh, Gopi nice, or oh, maybe Manjari nice, that kind of story. That means I like Krishna. Today I like Krishna. More. Next day, oh, I like, I want to love Radha Krishna, both equal. And the other day, oh no. As Manjari, I love Radhika more. This kind of feeling moving. 
But that we practicing and due to association, listening to Virapakusumanjari, then our feeling, our desire, our abhiman is clear. At that time, Baba Nishita. Of course, if you want to become Saki Baba, is it, you know, it's okay. Good. Настроение Gopi Baba is also very good. Good. But uh, if we know, if we know this Raghunathas feeling, and what Mahaprabhu want to give us, то Махапрабху хочет нам дать. Then are speaking Godi Abhishna Baba. Обычно языком говорит Godi Они стремятся к Манджари Баба. Они хотят Манджари Баба. Они есть. Махани Баба се. But a few person, some person. Некоторые личности. May have some kind of another Baba. Но могут иметь некоторые другие настроения. May go to another. So, you know, Santa, like, you know, beginning, no, actually, beginning material consciousness and spiritual consciousness, we are still Then still we have soul, but still soul conscious, you know, and the Gopi Baba and, uh, you know, Saki Baba, Manjari Baba, we are constantly. Then fixing, then very, very fortunate. So, that we need good association. We need the mercy of Rashkan Vaishnava or Paramagri Also, we need Nice kind of practice also. Nice practice, like a staying in Raja. Because outside of Raja, sometimes difficult to practice, to stay. Because my is very strong, many many devotees also there. So therefore, we we need to fix ourselves here, Vrindavan. That also good day to teach us. I had something. As you say, we have to. Why we have to come to Vrindavan? That's the reason. Because Vrajabas, they are the residents. There are two types of Vrajabas. Residents <coughs> and out of residents they come. Like us. Huh? So, if you go in any place, if I go to China, I don't know anything about their culture. Something I know. But uh, if you want to go deep, you have to live in a place to see, to observe their tradition, their, shall we say, culture. If you want to know a place, we have to live it in the place and absorb all the energy the feeling, the sentiment, whatever this place gives to you, and you relate it with that place. Why people <coughs> say Vrindavan is the center of the universe of love? That's I question you. Okay. I want to say something. Yes, it is possible. For example, in my case, I am a devotee of Vishnu. No? What is Vishnu? I, I don't understand that Radha. I cannot say that I am Krishna. But and uh, sometime, uh, some uh, old devotee told me that. Uh, um, we have to take care because sometimes we come from Vaidhi Bhakti experience no? and then when somebody told look the best is Manjari Bhakti so in that case maybe we start to 
You start to think, oh, I want to be the best. Not the second one, not the third. Yeah. Only the best. Which I am, which I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened in that case? We have to, I think we should remember what Guru Dev said, Chaitanya Sarisamrita, Adhidhira 4, in which uh, the writer write very clearly that every ra every rasa every every one who is in one rasa feel that his rasa is the best. <laughs> no? so in, my, in my case I love Vishnu I feel that he is God no? I cannot I'm not uh, I don't know who say that here everybody's manjar is not like this Gurudev don't say like this. So, my case is uh, I don't understand Vrindavan, but I, I like Gurudev. So I try to stay here because I think that he realized Manjari Bhakti. And uh, I believe that if, if uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, next verse says, Okay, I feel my rasa is the best, but if we can say like objectively, I don't know, we, everybody accept that Mandari Bhav is the higher possible stage of the soul. And in Manjari Bhav we have all the, all the rasa, no? no? Include everything, even Aishvarya. No? Even Vodhi in a strange way. So if Gurudev is in Mandari Bhav, and that is evident for everybody, he can also understand every other feeling. And, and he can say to us, really, or better. I think that he can make us realize, he can give us that uh, uh, for we cannot reach. So, Ananda Das Babaji say Mano Dharma, so mind religion is in the platform. He say in religion's platform. It is not our business. It is only for the beginner. If we stay all the life with that intention, oh, I want to be Mandarin. That is religion, it's not the spiritual no? Because that is Mano Dharma. It is when I start the Sunday. No. But the objective is not no. that I want to be that. The objective is, I think, try to beg for a sadhu, real sadhu, that give us our real identity. He knows. I maybe, to, as you say, I today I realize I want to be Hopi. Tomorrow I want to be dog. After tomorrow I want to be Vishnu Bhakta. No? That is Manodharma, no? I think, the platform of religion. Still we are looking for. No? So, only this I want, I want to remember. Yeah, he's right in what he's saying because it is uh, natural to that bath, to that rasa that we are the most attracted to. Then we put our energy and then it becomes natural to us. And in this, it doesn't matter which rasa it is, because we are individual souls and every one of us is individually attracted to some rasa. And there is not better or worse. It is a personal thing. So if you are attracted to Aishwarya Ras, then this is your rasa, then you put your energy there and you can full blossom in that. <coughs> And sometimes we have to find out which rasa is my rasa. For that we are in this sanctuary. We are attracted there, but we are also attracted there. And with the practice, we can fix more our feeling in which part we are the most attracted to and go for it. And this is good. Sure. This is a good thing. Yes. And one thing I want to say also, because of your question, that, uh, actually what we are discussing here is the most intimate thing, this uh, amorous pastime of the divine couple is a, is a transcendental 
pastimes. And our amorous pastimes in the material world are material. So there is a big difference uh, in what the transcendental couples' amorous pastimes they are experiencing. It is a loving exchange. And our amorous pastimes in the material world are based on the uh, senses. Mm -hmm. So, if we are going more deep in the loving and with just practicing with our chanting, hearing and remembering, then we can enter and take part in the transcendental pastimes, what is happening in the spiritual world. This is what Raghunath does. Goswami is experiencing in his uh, in his spiritual body, in the spiritual world, he is telling us how we can enter in that. Therefore, we are practicing, we are doing what we are doing. If we are attracted to that, as Prabhuji said, maybe you are attracted to become a Gopi because you want to meet with Krishna. Then you are in Gopi Bhav. And in Manjari Bhav, we are serving Radharani that she can meet her Krishna. So this time it will become clear. More and more. So I just want to uh, thank you all for your to the answer. So my background is my Sufism. It is I come from a Sufi family. So we relate to talk about the lover and the beloved. Yeah. And this understanding is quite parallel and also in resonance with the teachings here. What I find very beautiful and attractive with the Manjari love is this third perspective. It's not perspective of only you know worshipping God or consciousness Krishna or thinking or how to say in the Sufism, you know, uh, entering into Radha and relate to Krishna through Radha. So I talk to my beloved. Yes, she's but embracing the third perspective, which is I am the human in a human body, I am a soul. And I have the privilege and the fortune to attend to both. And through my senses, and through my qualities as a soul, I serve them. And from this third perspective, there is a sweetness, there is an experience of love that gets intensified, which I find attractive. It's because you experience the same way. So, um, I just want to give that as a as a comment or a feedback that yeah. as you said, the loving exchange is happening if we can have an exchange if you have a form and I have a form so we can have an exchange and in the spiritual world we have also a spiritual body so we can have a lot of relationships like I can relate with you now we can relate in the spiritual world with our spiritual body we can also relate and have a loving exchange Are you correct? <coughs> relate how you want to relate with her on spirit platform because she as an husband yes not in that kind of relation but I'm saying spirit listen hearing listen you say that many times to me I'm saying if you start a relation with her as you relate <coughs> Your relation with her, and you know that he has an husband, right? How you relate with her? How you choose the relation? Friends, lover, parental, 
Maduria. Uh, uh, Maduria. She's, all, she's already in Maduria. She's Mm. So I can relate her personally <laughs> as a friend, <laughs> but also as a lover in the spiritual consciousness with my spiritual senses. It's so beautiful. How can I say, and yes, husband? I wish I was. You understand? I wish I was in love with her. I am in love, but in the spiritual platform. Because I will disturb in the material platform if I want. You understand? Mm. And this happened in the material world. Why they fight divorce here, there? <laughs> because this spiritual relation is a variety of diversity of feeling and sentiments. I have a sentiments with her. As she spoke in this moment, what a realization, she came from a Sufi culture, and Sufi culture is eternal. Like, why she attract here? She come from another culture, but she come in this culture of Krishna. And the Sufi is also Krishna. You know, it doesn't change. Or God. He said God. He loves God. Okay, vision. Yeah. Respect, I love you so much. But, for example, in this case, for her, I don't know, what's your name? Excuse me, lady? Mira. Mira. I'm Mira. I'm, what is my sentiment with her? My feeling to see her, or to see you, or to see that other lady, or this, that gentleman, or him. I choose the relation, you choose the relation with me, or whatever, your friends relate that with. We can I, mean, we, I have so a relation with this is a, We are as all a friend, relating to as friends. O mi fate finire oppure me ne vado, scusate, perdonatemi. Perché se tu intervieni e non si capisce tutto il punto. Okay. Thank you. So, okay, anyway, you know, so this our subject is... Uh, very intimate. Yes. As you say, it's very intimate. Yes. And I won't explain you the intimacy of this pastime. May I? You want to know? You have some question? So, so me and there, I can be also, is I start as a friend, I have to know her, who is. I'm, I have to know his husband, who is. I have to invite, he invite me to become a friend. But in my heart, I want to be your lover. <laughs> you know, so... You understand? No. The point. For example, or lover, whatever you want to be. But in the spiritual senses, I will not give you erotic things because you have a husband. So, you know, so... It's you anyway, So anyway, so this is a relationship is we are Supreme Lord. <laughs> your husband is your Supreme Lord. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. 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 You have to treat her as a supreme lord yeah, because it's a husband but, relation. You know, literally, you know, mixing. You know. No, no, it's not mix anything. You have to know the culture by the resident or you live. You live in Vraja because it's a Radha Krishna culture. So I bring you a Vraja Basi, pure Vraja Basi. You will understand everything clearly. It's my gift to you. Because you can, as I said before, there are Vrajabasi residents from time immemorial. And there are Vrajabasi, they come and stay 10 years, 5 years, 3, three years to, un, to go deeply in the culture. If I want to come in your Sufi culture, I have to live with you, with your friends all day, when living or not. If I want to have Japanese friend relations, I have to go there. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you to you that yeah. you inspired me to say that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Maybe. I continue. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the Manjari is continuing talking to Krishna, mm -hmm. answering. All the girls of Raja <coughs> find the limit of perfection <laughs> on the strength of this service. Therefore, O Gokula Chandra, my mind is never eager to relish the rasa of your 
Ananga Sangha. Ananga Sangha means erotic union. Please just engage me in this long desired service. Again? Again? Yeah. From the beginning, what she says? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Govinda, I only want to serve while you make love with Sri Radha. Showing your brilliant amorous skills on the stage of erotic dancing named Sri Radha. All the girls of Raja find the limit of perfection on the strength of this service, therefore. O oh, Gokula Chandra, my mind is never eager to relish the rasa of your Ananga Sangha, means erotic union. Please just engage me in this long desired service. So this is a very important point, I think, because Rupa Manjali, or Manjali is mine, never eager to relish the rasa of direct relation, erotic union. <laughs> but uh, she, uh, she said, please just engage me in this long design service means, please engage me in service of Sri Radha and Radha's Krishna, Radha's Mohan. I don't want to your direct relationship. So all these explanations is, is explained in this sentence. If anyone considers the word Sukha Punga Bena to indicate that Shri Rupa Manjari was enjoyed by Shri Krishna, then that would contradict the definition of Acharya had given the Manjari within them. So they also try to a kind of a proof in this sense what Acharya said. So Ujjara Niramani is Rupa Goswami's writing. Also this also proof this Manjari does not want Direct, a direct relationship with Krishna, just desire a radical service, or Radha's Mohan service. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Sure. Uh, I, I would like to know yeah. How should I see Krishna? For example, when I am praying to Radhamoha, when I am in front of Radhamoha, I try to relate only with Radha and to pray only to Radha. Because, of course, the Kinkari doesn't Uh, want Krishna not even in the dreams. Uh, but uh, I would like to know how I should see Krishna. I, uh, uh, I don't want to make him impersonal because of this. So how should I see? Uh -huh. this, is, oh, this is a very, very good question. And this answer may not be one, because that devotee's advancement 
devoted the relationship, so feeling may be different. I give one kind of basic answer according to Guru Dev. So at first, it's Bhagavad Gita 10 10. At first, we 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 have to assign Krishna. Means we have to surrender to Krishna. Then Krishna's blessing. We can we can go to radical place or radical seva. For example. So if I know the Sumanji, so I know him. But if I want to approach his wife, I know his permission and mercy and blessing. <laughs> if direct approach is not so proper. So similarly, if we go to Radha directly, it's not to say, maybe some person go, but uh, generally speaking, at first we go to Krishna, and assign it. Do you want to say? No, no, if you think. So, so aside, then Krishna's blessing, Krishna's mercy, we can go to radical So at first we are thinking, like for, for, for my experience, Prabhupada teaches Krishna's supreme Godhead, supreme personality of Godhead. Then we are, we are practicing, oh, Krishna is supreme, oh, Krishna is supreme. At that time, we know Radhika, but a very small man. Then we start, we also reading, we are studying, understanding, or oh, actually, Radhika, Radhika is more, Radhika Seva is more high. Then, okay, then we have to practice Raga Nuga Bhakti, Raga Bhajan. Then we go to Krishna, wait, no, then Naraman said, forget Krishna is Supreme. And then we can, we could approach Radhika by the mercy of Rashika Vaishnava. <coughs> so therefore, so in short, this one, one, one answer, maybe approach Moha, please Moha, so I want to surrender to you. I want to assign you. Please give me your blessing, your mercy. I can serve Radhika and Radhika Moha. Okay. That is also one answer. You know, different answer because different feeling, different relationship, different advancement. But uh, so, but uh, simple, basic. Uh, Answer also. This is one answer. This is not to, this is not to, you know, many answers. For example, Shil Prabhupada in his prayer uh, to Krishna, he, he Shil Prabhupada, he is addressing him as his friend. He is telling, if you will help me in following desire of my guru, means to spread mission, Gaudi Vaishnava mission in America in the world. When I help you, I will tell my mistress how you're helping me. And she 
will be satisfied with you. He 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 has deal with Krishna as a friend. And also when Gurudev explained me what does mean ten ten Bhagavad Gita to his son is Krishna. I understood him in this way. Means except Krishna is your best friend. He is completely taking care about you. And all what you have received, and even what you come to Shimatradik, it's Krishna's Krishna's mercy. As a friend, he he found for he showed you the best position. Very good point. And also now I, I got the inspiration. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Please. Why as a friend? Because in Vraj, Krishna is not God. If I will think he is the supreme personality of God and pray to him, in that moment I will have deal with Krishna, not as Krishna. It will be Naraya. But Krishna is here, not God. He is not completely different. He is 100 percent That person who is fall in love is Shrimad Radhika. He is not God. If I want to have deal with him, it means friendship, yes. not as a servant. And also, maybe we may say, hey Krishna, please give me blessing to, you know, to serve Radhika. I want to feel for your desire. I can, you know, I can, I can bring you to the, you know, Kunja, which the where you can meet Radhika. I want to serve you in this way. That we may say, like you know, because I, I want to be made servant of Radhika. As made servant, I want to, I want to make arrangement you could meet with Radhika. That is very good point, of Radha Chanaji. Mm -hmm. Can I ask also what does it mean? Peace or peace? Assign with Krishna. What does it mean to assign? Because my English is not very so good, so I never understood what is the real meaning of this discussion. Okay, assignment. This is very good. To assign with Krishna. So assign means, Guru Dev said, so if we want to buy some house. If we may contract, they pay money. They finish. This property is my property. So similarly, the assignment is surrender means I, I want to surrender to you. I want to sell you. But not for you. No, but actually, you know, at, 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 at the first beginning, thing, huh? the beginning, Free, beginning, first, beginning, soul and super soul. Yeah. Guru Dev always explains. You know, beginning self to you, and then okay, you are selling me. Okay, then you have to ram ram. Then okay, I can bring you to Radhika. You can learn love from Radhika. <laughs> then that person, under the guidance of Radhika, she could learn. Then at that time, he is Radhika's property. <laughs> kind of, you know, assign means give everything in, to in other words, it's it's in surrender. surrender. Yes. Mm -hmm. Surrender. Surrender means... And recognize you are God. You are the Supreme Personality of God. I am the soul. <coughs> you are the Supreme Personality of God. I accept you mm -hmm. and nothing more. Done. Yeah. Assign is done. Yeah. As you yeah. the, example, the example you gave to the yeah. house. Yeah. Once you have... Uh, um, uh, Sign the contract. Yes, you don't look for other houses. Another house. <laughs> It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Cioè, come Very good point. Per la casa, non è che devi cercare un'altra casa. Ormai tu hai firmato, sei 
convinto insomma, della tua azione. Sì. Questo spiega l'idea. Ah, ok. Yes, Madrid, sai, sì. Very explained. Sì. Sì. C'è un altro punto. Che se non firmiamo con Krishna, lui non ci dà il Buddha Yoga. L'intelligenza. L'intelligenza spirituale. In conseguenza possiamo stare qua a parlare giorno e notte. Non riusciremo mai a arrivare al punto. Why? Perché se lui non ci dà questa visione, questa intelligenza spirituale, rimaniamo sempre sul piano materiale. Questa è la mia esperienza, eh? poi magari non è vero. Questa è la mia esperienza, magari non è vero. È corretto. Chi ti ha dato questo? Il tuo guru. Depende da quale guru hai. Chi ti ha dato questo? Chi ti ha dato il tuo guru? Cosa hai detto? La bodhi è da chi viene. Viene da chi viene. Viene da chi viene. Viene da chi viene. Il guru è il rappresentante di Krishna. Il guru è il rappresentante di Krishna. Quindi, lui ha dato il guru. Prima di tutto, hai bisogno di avere l'intelligenza. Perché ci sono due intelligenze. L'intelligenza intelligenza materiale e l'intelligenza e spirituale, right? A me il Guru Deva mi ha detto, uh. mi ha detto vai davanti a Radha Moha e uh. prega che ti diano il Buddha Yoga, perché se non c'è il Buddha Yoga... E il Buddha Yoga è quello che trovo. Wait, 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 we worry if I have... Translate. Translate. Guru Deva told me in the beginning that Told me, please go to Radha Mohan and ask them to get this intelligence, spiritual intelligence, from them. To Radha, not good guru. Thank you. Which another point? Excuse me. Guru Dev ama tutti, Radharani ama tutti. Guru Dev loves everybody, Radharani loves everybody. Noi lo sentiamo questo, no? We can feel this. Ah, la domanda che io mi faccio ogni giorno. The question that I make to myself. Ma io cosa, cosa oggi, cosa, cosa voglio fare per loro? Cosa voglio What I want to do for them to farli contenti to please them Kak parada tih Mi fare contento pure di avere la rana Cosa sono disposto a fare What I am uh, I, I am willing to do Sto io giuro Voglio, voglio rimanere nel senso io voglio I want to remain voglio fare qualcosa My senses, or, or, or do something else. Mm. <laughs> Jai 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 Jai